Hey everybody, it's Joe with My My Mods coming back to you with the Lake Effect build. I know it's been quite some time since we've given you any sort of update on this, but you guys have all been keeping us so busy with the Fantex top covers. And we have a little bit of downtime now in between batches. So we wanted to uh, come back to this and get this finally put together and finished. Last time we left off with the window installation saying that we're gonna get the hydro dipping done, which is completed as you can see, turned out fantastic. Can't wait to get this installed into the case and see what everything looks like together. Here we have the Alpha Cool ST3360 millimeter radiator. This thing is a full copper bad boy, uh, fins, rails, ports, and all. Um, it has 10 fins per inch, which is really good so you can use low to medium speed fans and get great performance at the same time. And uh, this is the 30 millimeter thickness model. So a lot of people get this one because it fits in a lot of different cases because of how thin it is. And the next one we have coming up right here is the 60 millimeter thickness radiator, which will give you whew, lots of cooling um, with the right fans on this. So you'll get probably about 1200, 1400 watts of heat dissipation where the, uh, the ST30 model is only going to give you about 800, 2000. And as you can see, we also have it all nice and hydro dipped with this black marble crackle pattern. Here's the GP that we're going to be using in this build is an EVGA 980 card. We also married it here with the aqua computer water block and also got the black marble done, hydro dip done to it as well. I just think it looks phenomenal. And then once we get this thing flipped over here for you, this is the back of the graphics card. We have the Aqua Computer Active Backplate, which actually has a heat pipe that goes from the backplate, cools the VRMs, and um, goes right into the water loop. We have the name of the build engraved into this backplate and also did the uh, PCI bracket and that little cover with the hydro dip just to give it that nice little effect to see when you're glaring through the window in the new PC. Here we have the excellent motherboard that we're putting into this build. It is the Gigabyte X99 SLI. We also did the hydro dipping on the VRM and Southbridge air cooler. It has a Intel 5930K CPU with an Aqua Computer Next CPU block. It's one of their brand new water blocks that just came out. Fantastic, they actually have one with a OLED screen on it to read out your temperatures. So if you're one of those guys, that's the block to go with. And also we have some Kingston HyperX memory in there. Next up is a Baro pump reservoir combo. We also took the little cover there and hydro dipped it just for fun. Why not? And we have a Alpha Cool VPP655 variable speed pump in there. Pretty much just a Lang pump. Um, D5 is highly recommended for most builds. Quiet, um, reliable, and the pump is actually the head's made of stainless steel, so it's actually water cooled technically in the system. So if you all have been sticking with us from the beginning, um, you can see that some of the parts are a little old. So we wanted to incorporate something new into this. The M.2 craze is really big right now. So now we have this Aqua Computer Cryo M.2 water cooler. Um, converts your M.2 to a PCI Express slot and water cools your M.2, which is pretty sweet. They actually have a air cooling model. You don't have a water cooling setup. But this is pretty amazing right here. So the installation of this case was actually pretty easy. Obviously, you guys might have saw the video in the beginning where we installed the drain port and put the radiators together, but it was pretty sweet. We got that Baro fitting. Um, it's just an SLI adjustable fitting with a 90 degree to connect the two radiators together. It's, I think that that's awesome. Um, we also made it pretty minimal on this build for the wires in the back of the case. We ran up all the fan wires up to the front and made a little custom piece of plexi to put a uh, distribution board there. So in the back of the case, you literally just have just the power supply cables, the one pump wire, and 
all the wires that we did for lighting on this, um, I made a custom cable that went from all the dark side LED strips that we put in here that goes directly into that EVGA power supply. And then the same thing with the pump, I just cut the wire right to length and took the Molex off and put it into directly into the power supply. So less clutter completely in the back. And the tubing was obviously a little pain because I'm a perfectionist. Most people are when it comes to hard tube. Um, you know, you always want to get that bend perfect and think you get your first bend perfect and it doesn't always work out or it does work out, you think, and then you get to the third bend of your third tube and then you realize that the first one you bent is now crooked. So it's kind of what you see and see going on here is us figuring out where the tube's going to go, how's it going to look, maybe it didn't bend correctly, we cut it too short. And it's just a trial and error process that you do with hard tube. I can tell you with the 16 mil by 12 mil tube that we used, it actually takes quite an amount of time to heat up and get it malleable enough to get the bend nice and fluid. Where I've used 12 millimeter tubing in the past, 12 by 10, and that seems to bend obviously a lot quicker, a lot easier. So if it's gonna be your first build for hard tube, I suggest using the 12 mil. We uh, leak test it, it's all good. We actually use in the Mayhem's um, Extreme Pastel Fluid, it's a nano fluid. Right now I consider it one of the best fluids on the market. Um, just by using that fluid, you can actually lower your temperatures. So I would highly recommend it. Let me in a little wiring snag. We don't want pretty much, uh, I didn't crimp the wires correctly into the connector, so I had to take it all apart real quick, redo some wires, and redo some crimps, and boom, got the wire, or the, all the lighting working correctly, and this thing just turned out fat, way, way better than what I anticipated. And there you have it, Project Lake Effect. All right, everybody, as you can see, the Lake Effect build is finally completed. I want to thank all of you for sticking with us with this two-year journey and getting this thing completed. We also want to thank all of our sponsors for supplying all the products to make this whole build happen. So thank you so, so much for staying with us. We have more builds planned for you in the near future. I promise they won't take as long as this one, but you'll be happy to see what we have in store.